Real YouTubers copy each other's intros, even though it's not even the same genre. Next up, we're going to be getting into my opinion piece of the night. This is brought to us by Reddit, the Arlequino mains subreddit to be specific. If you don't know by now, you should know. I'm an Arlequino main. I love Arlequino's character from top to bottom, head to toe, damage scaling to artifact grind. I don't even know what that, what that is. The whole crux of this is the wrong way to build your teams. I saw a post a while ago. It's called, Will This Team Work? As you see, it's Arlequino, Yolan, Shalonin, and Moika. This was posted before Shalonin came out, before the special Genshin content creator server uh, videos were made. Maybe they had access to the server. Maybe they're already making their videos. I don't know. But we didn't have any solid information on scaling and our kit. We only had leaks. And Moika, we're still only at the leaks phase. We don't know scaling. We don't even know what her skill and burst do 100% confirmed or even repeatedly leaked. Kind of seeing that confirmation that way. We only knew Arlequino and Yolan. There's some arguments down in the comments whether Yolan vapes or Arlequino vapes. In my experience, Arlequino is the one who vapes. I've never really had any problem with it. I constantly see that Hydro Ore on the enemy, and then I constantly see Vaporize whenever Arlequino is attacking. So those two are a very good core. You can finish that off with, now that Shalonin's released, we know that she works well with the team. Uh, pair that off with Shalonin and Bennett. You can do uh, Zhongli and Bennett. That's my speedrunning team. Actually, my speedrunning teams, my two teams right now are the boat, actually both of those, I, I switched between the Zhongli team and the uh, Shalonin team. But the main point here is this post was made. It was it was a very well mannered post um, saying, hey, like I understand just do we think this is going to be good, but it really hones in on what a lot of people are wondering whenever new characters are teased. Is this character going to be good for my account? They look at the characters they have and they say, is this team good? Well, Nobody can tell you if the team's good or not. Moika, we don't even know how well she supports, if she buffs, if she doesn't, if she does off-field application. If you look at Mulan and Kanich's kit, it really heavily implies that. But one thing I really want to look at is uh, Mulani leaks. And what we see here is that in this round of leaks, so I think this is uh, version three. So this is the third round of leaks from version two to version three. That's what we see here. So her E skill, her basic bite damage, leak number two, 22.6% max HP, and then it changed for leak number three to 15.6. So, so they lowered that, they lowered the scaling. So if you really look at this, she gets a noticeable drop in her wave momentum damage bonus. So that's basically if you use her E and then you click before she has full Sharky stacks. And if you look at Sharky's surging bite, which is her fully buffed attack, it dropped from 56.6% of max HP to 39. It dropped, what is that, 15%? from one leak to another. So if you see leak number two and you plan your team around that, what are you doing? Like you're, you're planning off of leaks, right? So if you say, is this team good? And then suddenly one of the characters is nerfed, you can't reliably plan. Sharky's bite cooldown changed, which obviously has some effect on your rotations and how quickly you can get that damage out. So that makes it more consistent or quicker damage rotations, less time between big damage hits. But then you see based on the other things above it in her E, so those those quicker hits do less damage. And you look at her burst, it went from 75.7% to 84% max HP when at level 10. So basically that's kind of encouraging her to use her burst more often or seeing that there's no real use to use her burst maybe. So let's buff that to make it somewhat viable for players to use. Her ascension talent changed, so she restores more night soul points when she picks up a floater when she was moving around in Natlin. So when she's moving around on water versus on land, she uses up fewer Night Soul points on water. The consumption of Night Soul points or Phlogiston was decreased by 25 to 75% decrease. So it's way more viable to be crossing water. Water was very similar to going on land. Now it's very much not similar. And by 65% to 35% when doing the same outside Natlin. So that nerfs her outside Natlin. I mean, we know these characters aren't good outside that one, aren't as good. Mulani's DPS, her, her rotations and DPS changes based on where you are. Her constellations changed. Her C6 uh, could crit or could increase crit. Now it can't. So it's not a good idea to plan, especially if you're free to play. It's a horrible idea to plan around characters who aren't out yet. Now, Archons are usually pretty, pretty cracked. 
Nahida was crazy when she came out. Best Dendro applier in the game. I mean, arguably still is. Farina is absolutely cracked. So, and it looks like Muika is as well from the support needs of the other Natlin characters. But you can't guarantee it. Just because there's a leak now doesn't mean that's how it's going to be in the future. So don't plan your teams based on that. Like right now, you shouldn't be grinding pieces for what you think someone's kit should be. Chaska, Sitlali, Auroran. But at the end of the day, if you feel like you're going to have wasted your time, if something happens to change and what you farm for isn't good for them any longer, just don't do it in the first place. You'd be way better off making your current characters good because guess what? At some point, they were just leaks too. There were times when we didn't even know if we were going to get our Lakina, but wait for the Pyro Archon to come out. If you're going to be pre-farming artifacts, if you're planning to run one of the new Natlin sets, that's totally fine because that also works to farm for your other Natlin characters anyways. But yeah, those are my thoughts on that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.